Yeah, so uh, it's been uh, about a year since we um, released our first uh, desktop client and um, we have been making uh, little tweaks which um, mostly were still sent upstream so we don't have a, a private uh, or, or our own fork yet because we're, well, as you can already hear, we're busy with a lot of other stuff to, uh, that we had to take care of. And, um, but I want to share with you some of the things uh, that were done and I think the most uh, impressive thing we have now for our, at least our open source community is that we finally have uh, proper Linux uh, packages or a way for Linux users to just download and run. And um, we did this with um, app images. Um, we choose app images uh, just because they, they run, like if we would have um, gone with Snap, you have to tell people, install your Snap stuff and then, then run it, and this just worked. But we, we also built Snaps, but you just don't distribute them officially, um, within quotes, <laughs> of course. Um, so, again, packages, they are a real pain um, to maintain for us, because from every change we have to uh, test this on uh, well, at least the four different currently supported Ubuntu versions, the three different Debian ones, uh, Fedora, I don't even know which number they're up to these days. And um, the list goes on and on. Um, and this just doesn't scale. Um, so so uh, there are app images now, and we have, um, uh, it's just one file. Um, that is the app, you run it, and you have the, the client. So, uh, in order to help you get started, I, I made a, a nice little uh, guide. So you download it, you make it executable, and you run it. That's it. You have the, the latest and greatest uh, Nextcloud client uh, up and running. So there's no, no messing around. Uh, so also, replacing it will be uh, easy, and um, we're working on extending this uh, more and more, so you can also have incremental updates. So you could you just download it once, and then uh, once you get an update notification, you shut it down, you run um, the next cloud command uh, dash dash update, and you get the latest version automatically. Um, so yeah, that's um, the the well the big news we we have now. It's already. Uh, being used, well, first of all, by me the entire time, but I also saw on the download server that it's, it's getting pretty um, popular now that we, uh, that we provide them uh, directly on the download page. So that's new. And then, I, uh, um, because the, we had a lot of complaints about uh, uh, the logo size, so we just merged uh, two days ago, so in the, the next release we'll have new icons. Uh, finally, because uh, I was fine with the old icons, but if you looked at the issue list, like 20% of it <laughs> um, didn't like the, the, the logos we had. Um, and I, uh, our main goal for, for the, the not too distant future is to uh, try to get uh, the nice things we do in, um, on, on the web, we can do now. Um, you can share with, um, with circles on the web. But you can't do that on your, on your, uh, from your desktop, which makes it feel weird and also underappreciated because um, if you then share on the web to a circle and you, you look at your, at your desktop and it just doesn't show up because it doesn't know how to parse it, um, yeah, our users get confused and we want to solve that. Um, there's also the files drop, um, the activity stream um, on the desktop client is um, hard to use and understand, even for the people that know what they're supposed to see. So, um, yeah, this is little stuff we want to, to change, and we're also, of course, working like the Android guys on um, getting this new login flow uh, integrated. And then, um, yeah, hopefully we'll have a fancy new client for you soon. Thank you.